Hi, this is John Krajewski from the Wonderware product management team, and I wanted to take you a few moments today to talk to you about improving situational awareness through the use of trends. When we talk about situational awareness, we're really talking about trying to take an operator and provide them with enough information so that they can assess what, what has been happening, what is currently happening, and what is likely to happen in their systems, and ultimately empower them to make a decision um, that will either improve your business operations or improve the overall safety and performance of that system. So trends are not something that's particularly new to process graphics. So we can see that trends have been used for quite some time. Here's an older demo that's been around for a few years here at Wonderware. And you can see in this particular case, I've got trends for the batch reactor. Here I've got one that shows the, the reactor level and the reactor temperature on the same trend. And it's stacked above um, a trend that's showing the storage level of this reactor. Uh, these particular trends are characterized by uh, being an embedded control inside of the system um, and as such it has its own background and grid um, and kind of its own uh, visual space that it has that it manages um, and as such it also um, tends to be a bit larger um, in the size of what you place them down and it tends to also limit the number that you can put on a screen there is a limit to the number of these you can put on the screen in, in, in terms of scale of how you can address them Another trend tool that we've classically used has been the, an analysis client here. So here's our full historian client embedded inside of this display. Um, here, again, it's a fantastic tool for being able to do data analysis, but when it comes to real-time process control, it has its weaknesses. Um, there's only so many pens that you can embed inside of this before it starts to get somewhat noisy, as well as swapping out the tag groups that you're going to be showing on here as you move from screen to screen can often be somewhat of a laborious task as well. So now we want to change gears a bit and swap over to a demo which was based on our InTouch 2014 offering and talk a little bit about um, a new element that we've created called the Trend Pen. It's a very lightweight element. It's not a full trend client. It's not an embedded control. It's just a graphic element that does basic trending. And you're seeing several of them on the screen right now. So what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and change the process state to out of service to make some of this data move. So what you can see here with the influent flow is I've got a flow meter that's showing me the current value of the flow, but I also can see what that value has been over the last 15 minutes. My dashboard at the below here shows me the ability to, or provides me the ability to change that. So I can go from 15 minutes to five minutes and I can change that. And it changed it for all of the trends on the screen. So here's another trend for the level and another trend for the turbidity on this unit. As well as you can see, I've got several little sparkline trends here um, that are showing me multiple values for this process unit. There's a couple of key differences between the, um, the trends here on the meters and the trends on the sparklines. One being is that these are full scale, meaning that this is the minimum range of that trend and this is the maximum range of the trend. Um, so even though that this trend hasn't gone that full distance in that time period, um, it's only showing you where it's been in that range. One of the key differences between the spark line is that this spark line is currently showing um, the, f the auto ranging to the min and max over that period. So for example, the effluent turbidity's minimum is 0 0.3, its maximum is 0 0.33, and you can see that from bottom to top. This auto ranging makes it much easier to see variations in that value because this over here is the same value that's being shown over here, but you can see quite a difference by auto scaling it and auto ranging it. These all make it much more effective for an operator to understand what's it been doing, what is it doing right now, and that also helps them to make an understanding of what's it likely to be doing soon into the future. You can see on this screen that I've got, oh, one, two, three, there's another five, eight, nine trends on here. So even then, we've gone above what may be typically used um, inside of a process graphic traditionally. Now I'm going to move to the overview screen for all these filtration units. And here you can see that I've now got 20 of these trends. Or these, these, in this particular case, is, these are the sparkline instances. Um, now if I start changing the durations, you can see that they actually pull data rather quickly. 
Um, one of the key differences in the spark line that wasn't being shown earlier, you see the shaded area. Um, this is something I built into this particular wizard that actually allows me to see the optimal range as a shaded area. So I can quickly assess if I've gone outside my optimal range in this time period. So in this particular case, you can see the effluent turbidity has exceeded its optimal range, and it exceeded it about 15 minutes ago. Um, so that allows me to really understand a bit more about this process, much more effectively than just the point value would do. Now I'm going to switch over to yet another process graphic now here that I've doubled the number of trends again to, this one's I think 38 trends, and if I pull up even an hour's data, you can see that the, the, the noise is coming in here, there's a lot of noise in that, but it performs very quickly. We have tested this to up to 200 trends on a single graphic and still not seeing any major degradation in overall draw performance um, from what you would have with just normal um, graphic elements on the screen. So we truly do believe that these do trend pen elements allow you to empower your operators to have a better understanding of what the process has been doing, what it's doing right now, and what it will be doing in the future, and to ultimately provide them much better situational awareness to improve your business performance. Thank you.